everyone and welcome back to Stephanie reacts to The Legend of Korra well this is The Legend of Korra book 2 spirit chapter 10 a new spiritual age well last week at the end of it we saw Janora and Korra Janora Korra right but Janora and Korra go into the spirit realm because I think it was Janora could only see the spirits she could, like the wee flying things, could see the wee spirits flying, she could play with them. And Tenzin didn't like that, he didn't. But because she's the one of the young, she's not the youngest, she's like the oldest child, but because he's the father and all that kind of thing, he wants to be the one to trade Cora into the spirit realm because he's never been himself I don't know if his brother and sister has been or no but I think they have and he's not Tenzin's only one that's not been in the spirit realm and he, th and he thinks he's let Aang down so and we saw Mako get arrested for nothing him getting I think it was Verik it planted his stuff in his room to get him caught. So, me goes away to jail the now because of Verik. I'm guessing, I'm trying to think of her name. Merrick's girlfriend, Ma Marek's girlfriend. Oh, I know her name, but I can't think of it now. But she'll go to Verik and complain. But why is Mako in jail for and all that? Or Mako in jail for? Why did you set us up and all that? I guess that will happen with her. But, he says the spiritual age, I think it's in, it's what it might be only about Chihiro and Korra. Maybe. Well, let's jump into this and see. Starting now. I can't believe my little girl had to guide Cora into the spirit world instead of me. If anything happens to her, I won't be able to forgive myself. She's very smart, and she obviously has a strong connection to the spirits. She'll be fine. Yeah, Dad went all the time. They won't have their bending in there. They'll be defenseless. <clears throat> Excuse me, but I've never had bending, and I don't think I'd call myself defenseless. Of course you aren't, because I'm you so have your... Um, positive attitude? I would have said acute intellect and cat-like reflexes, but whatever. Why don't you two get some sleep? I'll take the first watch. Wow. Wake us up if you need some company. Or if any interesting spirity stuff happens, like their bodies start floating around and you need someone to help you grab them before they fly off. Boomy! I'm just saying we're here if you need us. I know you are. Thank you. Please come back soon. Isn't it beautiful? Just stick close to me, okay? This seems nice, but you never know when we'll run into some dark spirits. In our oh, own holes! Oh. Get her! <laughs> You're only making it worse. Thank you. 
I'm not. I'm crazy. You're not scary. You just looked at me. to my little girl. That was a new spiritual age. Wow. That was a brilliant episode. Only because we saw Iroh in it again. Bless that guy's heart. Oh. I guess he, I think he says he's there because his body was dying. And to save him from dying, though, he's, he's he sent his spirit into the spirit world and just left his body there. He never actually says left his body to rot. But that's what would happen, his body would rot to a spirit. And we saw like Cora get younger. Cora get younger. But we never saw Janeiro or G G Hero get younger or older or anything. So I thought Cora will get younger, she'll get older maybe, and go switch. But no, we saw some of Jahiro's, you've probably seen her name now, it was Rankin Jahiro, it's probably Jah, Jah, Jahuru, but oh, you know what I'm talking about anyway. <laughs> so you've seen some of her friends, her spiritual friends, like that bunny one, and, she, and it was bigger than she was, because in the real world, it was a wee flying thing, but in this spiritual world, it was a big giant bunny. And she kept rubbing his belly. That was a cute moment for that. Uh, and it was spooky that your feelings become reality in the spirit world. If things start to scare you or you start to get angry, like that, then things start to change around you. It gets rainy, thundery, and all the spirits turn evil and bad. But as soon as you calm down and apologise and whatever else, as the sun comes out and the spirits you turn bad or turn good again. Mm. I don't know, I forget if Fatu is the good one or the bad one, the bad spirit. But the bad one's getting ready to break through you yes, and into the real world. All they needed was Cora to open the same spiritual portal and to do that. In the log, had to catch a to hero, a Janeiro. So he caught her, but he forced Cora to open it. And he said to Cora, "If you came through the portal, you could do this." And he was water bending Cora because Cora came through the spiritual route. She doesn't have any bending powers. What were they mole things at the beginning? Cora tripped her, tripped her a mole hole. You saw like one pop up, then two, then three, then four, then up. I don't know, about a lot popped up. And she never knew she had any bending powers. So she's done that. Tried maybe water on them, or maybe air bending them. Nothing happened. Because of that, they got angry at her. And I don't know if Cora got angry or not, or scared. But the fun evil we did after that, they're attacking her. Uh, so next episode, A Night of a Thousand Stars, I think it's called. Aye, A Night of a Thousand Stars. Does this mean Cora has to go back into the spirit world to rescue Jihiro? 
maybe God sends his daughter a trap there, she is, so. And will Cora have to go through there? Through the portal, maybe, this time? That's why she goes through the portal. We'll have her bending powers and her avatar powers. That'd be better if I just go through the portal that way. And that was cute and awesome how she saved that wee baby dragon bird to put it to his family and stuff. And then it grew and helped her. So that was a good thing it was. He knew that until he tried to get my son's mouth it was. But hi, it was a brilliant episode this was everyone. Let me know down in the comments what you thought about this episode. And what you thought when you seen the Iroh return. When I seen that, I was like, we're going to see Zuko or maybe Aang. I thought like maybe you see spirits of the past in the spirit world. But we've only seen the Iroh. And I was like, oh, cute and a player. Oh, that was awesome seeing that old man again. But he says to Cora, I don't know, next time come see me again. But maybe in your next, this life, maybe in your next life come see me. I'll be here waiting on you. I know I said this will happen in the next episode, but I'm talking about this episode again I was. Now as you know, I go back and forth between things. Right, as I was trying to say before, a night of a thousand stars. Coral has to go through the portal to save Jiri Hero. And I don't probably seen her name rank, but Weast. <laughs> a night of a thousand stars. Maybe Spirits? I'm trying to think of us there. Maybe some spirits will help her. Or maybe she has to get knocked out and see stars. I know it's Catherine Ace, but... <laughs> to get back into the spirit world or that. I think there's only about... four or five episodes left, isn't there? I'll let me check how much episodes are left to this. There. One, four left. 11, 12, 13 and 14. There. So, wow everyone. Well thank you for watching this reaction. Don't forget to hit the like button. Comment down below what you thought of this. And what you thought when you seen Iro. So, have a good day, good night, good week, good weekend. Stay safe everyone. I'll see you then. The next one. Bye everyone.